Hello, and welcome back to this amazing channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to add or delete your documents in local GPT and how to change the models in it. So basically, this video is all about the configuration part of local GPT, and this is the part three video of our local GPT video series, where we get to know how to install and run local GPT on your system with zero errors. If you do not know, let me give you a small recap. First, we saw how to install Miniconda. Then, we saw how to install local GPT by overcoming every error that you might face during the installation process. Then, in the last video, we saw how to run local GPT. I hope you're here after watching all these videos. If not, please watch them first. I will provide all the links in the description for your convenience. Now, we are ready to go. So, here is our Pro folder where our local GPT folder is saved. Firstly, I will show you how to upload your documents and delete the previous document. For this, open your folder where the local GPT folder is saved. Open the local GPT folder. Here, you see a folder named Source Documents. Inside this folder, there is a document named orca.pdf. So this is the location where you can upload your documents. You can also delete the previous documents, like I delete the Orca document. Now, to upload a new document, you just have to copy your document here. Like I have two documents in my Downloads folder, I simply copy these two documents and paste them inside our Source Document folder. As you can see, we can upload multiple documents or files in this. Now open our Conda terminal, and to see all the environments present inside your system, you can use this command, Conda Info Environments. Here is a list of all our Conda environments, and here is our local GPT environment that we created in our previous videos. Now to activate this environment, use the Conda Activate command. After this, we have to go inside our local GPT folder. For this, we are using the cd command, which basically changes the current working directory. Now, we are inside our local GPT folder. Use the cls command to clear the screen. Now, type python ingest.py command. As I told you in my last video, this command is used to embed the text of your system into the vector database, which will be used by our model to answer the queries like we have uploaded two documents in the source document folder, so this command will split these documents into small chunks or pieces which are embedded in our vector database. There is one important thing to note. You just need to execute this command only once. After executing this command, the document is embedded in your system and is always stored in your system until you delete it. So in the future, you can use it without executing this command. But if you upload a new document, then you must execute this command again. Now, after doing this, the last step is to run our local GPT. For this, use the command python run local GPT. I will provide all the commands in the description. Blast is equal to zero, which means it is currently running on CPU power. In the prompt section, you can ask any query related to your document that you have uploaded. Like I asked, tell me about the FISHI model in short. As you can see, it uses almost 90% of system CPU and zero GPU usage. After some time, it gives the answer of my query. So, now let's move on to our next point, how to change the models. Different models have different capabilities, which becomes an important part to set the model according to your work you do. For example, the Mistral model is faster than the Llama 2 model. To do this, go inside your local GPT folder, and here you will see a folder named Models. Inside this folder, you can see all the models that are present. Currently, we have only one model, which is Llama 2 7 billion. Go back and scroll down. You will see a file named constant.py. Open it with any text editor. After opening this file, scroll down to the models section. Here we have four inbuilt models, which are Yama 13 billion, 
then Yama with 7 billion, then Mistral, 7 billion, and lastly, Yama with 70 billion parameters. To use any one of these models, simply remove the comment or hashtag symbol. For example, if I want to use the Mistral model, I remove the comment from Mistral and add a comment to my previous model, which is Yama. But new and powerful models are coming every week. So how can we use those models? Let me show you how to use those models. For example, if you want the latest model of Mistral. For this, open your web browser and type Mistral 7 billion instruct the bloke. Open the Hugging Face link. So, what you're seeing above is our model ID. Use this in place of the model ID. And for the model base name, below you see the File and version section, click on this. Here are our model base names. You can use any one of them. Just replace the current base name with any of these base names. Like, I change my Mistral model base name to Q4. After doing this, save this file to you, which is an important part. Now again, type Python run local gpt.py to run local gpt. Here, your Mistral model starts installing to our system. Model installation may take some time depending on your internet speed. Here are our model details. Model type, 7 billion. Model size, 7.24. Model name, Mistral. If you go back to your model folder, you will see Mistral is added to your folder. After this, you can work on local GPT with new model. So this is the part three video. In the part four video, we will see the web UI of local GPT. Currently, we are using it from our terminal. In the next video, we will run it on our browser. Hope you will like this video and unlock the future with us. Subscribe for more cutting edge tech insights.